this video I'm going to review Jack Stonehouse oil field radiator model EX1005. If we talk about design, as you see, this is a very nice and portable heater in combination of black and grey color. It has 9 pins and has declared power of 2 kilowatts. It has a huge uh, LCD display and a plastic handle, which is very useful if, in case you want to move radiator from one room to another room. If you want to use a uh, handle, uh, you have to press it and it will pop up. Once you move the radiator, put the handle back. Features of this heater are three modes fast heating, energy saving, and anti freeze. Also, it has 24 hours auto on off function, electronic control, and digital LED display, and temperature setting between 5 and 35 degrees. The dimensions of a radiator are width is 14.7 centimeters. Length is 43 centimeters and height is uh, 65 centimeters. This model uh, is 2 kilowatt model uh, and it has a uh, lead length is 1.8 meters and weight is around 11 kilograms. I'm going to use this device to measure the real consumption of radiator. As you can see, it shows 0 watts at the moment. This is the remote, as you can see it has 6 buttons, this button is to turn on radiator, this one is to adjust the power of radiator and these two are for temperature and this is a timer button and mode button. So we will turn on the radiator. So you can see that real Power consumption is 2.166 uh, kilowatts, which is actually slightly more than uh, 2 kilowatts. This uh, device has a couple of different modes. So this is eco mode, this is uh, anti-freeze mode, and this is a standard mode. And yeah, you can say that consumption is around 2.15 kilowatts and when I press uh, power button so it will actually reduce the consumption to 1.3 kilowatts and if I press the power button again uh, it will reduce the power consumption even more to only 900 watts so you can see on display that we have three bars and when uh, three bars are actually uh, present it means that uh, two heaters are working uh, one is around 0 0.9 kilowatts and the other one is uh, 1.2 and that gives you the maximum power uh, but when you uh, switch to only two bars then it will activate only the stronger uh, heater 1.3 kilowatts and now uh, only the 900 watts uh, heater will be turned on so you can adjust this pressing the power button which is available only on remote control so that button is not available on radiator itself and this is a timer function so you can adjust uh, after uh, three, four, five hours uh, to switch off uh, radiator automatically. And this is to turn off the radiator. Once radiator reached the desired temperature, the number will start blinking, and it means that radiator is not using energy anymore. This is how remote uh, looks like. It uses two AAA batteries, which are not included. 
and overall this is a very good radiator very cheap and very good and very nice looking it's a 2 kilowatt power and of course you will get the owner's manual you should save these instructions in case if you need later Uh, overall this is a very good radiator uh, so it is very economical it has remote and uh, so in my case uh, energy consumption is between 2 and 4 kilowatts per night depending on uh, desired temperature and roughly it is around uh, 3 kilowatts per night if you want to keep temperature in your room maybe around 21 22 degrees which is actually very good if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and uh, like this video. Cheers.